Hey everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica and today's video is going to be our summer homeschool plans. I know, I know, we're supposed to be having fun in summer and I promise you guys we're going to have tons of fun. But this is not going to be an ordinary summer for anybody. So it just seemed like the best idea was for us to kind of homeschool through it. We're going to be doing a shortened, abbreviated version of what we do now. We are not going to be moving on to any new concepts. We're going to be doing, well, other than like our unit studies, but we're going to be doing mostly review um, so that we can make sure that she kind of has a good foundation before we move forward in the fall. We just don't want to have any summer sliding. And a routine is just better for our family. It just kind of helps keep us all from being bored and like not have to deal with mundane. And honestly, none of us are idle people anyway. So it's just better for us. And it also helps us move into the fall because we've already kind of been doing something. Before I get started um, showing you the resources that we are going to be using for the summer, I wanted to show you one we're going to be using for our routine. And that is these magnets from Lovely List Magnet. They are not, it may just be this color it doesn't want to focus on. There we go. So you can see there, this one says Morning Basket. These magnets we are going to put on the fridge. And it's just going to be a great visual reminder to Emily of what each day kind of entails. Um, what it's going to look like. They're obviously not... It's not going to be like timed or anything crazy. You guys know that's not our style. But this way we can use some of these super cute magnets that she either already had in her shop or that she made specifically for us, like the board game one, to kind of give Emily a visual idea of what's going to be happening. Um, there are chores. There are daily habits. There are school things like art, music, history, science. I'm really excited. If these work well, which I think they will, we will also be using them in the fall too. Okay, now that you saw what we're going to use to give her a visual aid, let me go ahead and tell you what our rhythm or routine is going to look like for the summer. It's going to look very similar to like what we're already doing now. We're going to wake up in the morning. Emily's going to have free time. I may or may not strew. I'm not going to be as... Um, like strict about it as I am now where I do it every day. I'm just going to kind of let her have free time. If I notice that she's getting bored or kind of floundering, then I will strew something for the next day. But for the most part, she'll have free play in the morning. We will still do our morning basket. Right now, our morning basket is kind of abbreviated anyway with libraries being closed. It's been a little um, smaller than normal, so it's only been taking us about 25 to 30 minutes. So when morning basket is over, we will and go ahead and move on to table time, which hopefully will only take us about 25 to 30 minutes as well. When we are done with table time, again, abbreviated, I'll show you what we're going to be using for that um, in just a moment. We will have probably lunch. There may be free time in there when we'll just like play games or hang out or read or, you know, play Barbies, get on the floor, whatever she wants to do. And then we'll have lunch. After lunch, I'm hoping that we'll be able to get in the pool. If the weather's bad, we'll just do something fun inside. And then when my husband gets home, we will still be doing an afternoon activity together. Now there are things that we have. Um, we made a summer idea list of fun things for us to do. This will be a free printable. You can grab it in the description box down below. I made it for you guys. You can fill in all of your own summer idea list. Um, I'm going to tell you a few of the things that we listed. And I actually still have a few blanks on here because we wanted to ask you guys some of your summer ideas for this summer when obviously things are going to be different and you're going to be stuck at home so that we could use some of your ideas on our list. So what we have right now is have a family movie night have a family game night, have a water fight, balloons and or guns, uh, make your own ice cream, have a baking cooking competition, do at home mani petties, hike a new trail near our house, have a camp out in the living room. You guys, we live in Florida. It is too hot to be camping outside. Visit the beach with friends, learn to play horseshoes. Emily's never played, so she wants to learn. Make our own slip and slide in the backyard. Go for a joy ride with the windows down and the music up. Make our own homemade pizzas. Make puppets and put on a show. 
and make bird feeders and watch and count the birds. So give me some more ideas. Those are some of the things we'll be doing in the afternoons. We will also still be incorporating tea times and some of our like nature walks and subscriptions, all of those things we're already doing. And Emily does also have a few online classes that she will be taking throughout the summer as well. I will leave the links to the ones that she's taking in the description box down below. Um, she is taking a Lego class still because she did not want to give that up. She loves it so much. She is taking a design your own zoo class. That probably doesn't surprise most of you if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook. And she is also taking a introduction to veterinarian, veterinarian, veterinary science, something, some sort of veterinarian um, class in late summer as well. So those are things that will also be done in the afternoon because most of those classes start around two to three. So she'll either be doing an online class or we'll be doing something off of our summer idea list or a fun thing together like, you know, a poetry tea time, a nature walk. I don't have a plan for those. We're not going to be looping them. We're just going to be doing whatever we feel like doing that afternoon when it rolls around. All right, and now for the part that you actually want to see, and that is the resources that we will be using for our table time portion of our summer homeschool. The main resource that we will be using throughout the summer is traveling the parks. We're going to be traveling America's national parks using my most recent curriculum because we won't be able to do most of our regular summer travel. So we're going to travel in spirit. If you would like to look inside this curriculum, you can do that there. The other thing that I really wanted to make sure that I was focusing on this year was her math facts. She's okay with them. She's not great with them. So I wanted to spend the summer kind of um, making sure we were laying a really good foundation. So one of the few resources we're going to be using for that is the math facts that stick book from Kate Snow. I know we'll be getting through the addition. We may get through the subtraction. I'm not going to rush her. Um, I'm showing you both because my thought is that we'll get through addition and we'll probably do at least half of subtraction, but again, I'm not going to rush her. So this will just be however, um, you know, whatever we get through for the summer. We will also be using the extra math app. It's kind of no frills. It's straight to the point. It takes her less than five minutes. Um, in the back of the math facts that sticks book, I will put the look through up here in case you want to see more of it, but there are these practice pages and basically they're I don't know, maybe 20 problems on each page. And the extra math app probably has her do 40 to 50 problems, but it goes so fast. And because she's not having to write, it doesn't seem as like tedious to her. So we will probably replace um, the practice pages in the math facts that stick with extra math. And then the days we don't do extra math, instead of doing, you know, practice play, a practice page or the extra math app, we will be playing specifically our Tang math games. Um, we have, we obviously have tons of math games, but I specifically want to be playing this K through two set. There's three or four different card games in here. I really, like I said, just want to be reviewing concepts that she's already learned, not necessarily learning new ones. And this way we're reviewing everything that she hopefully has learned up till now in math. And if she hasn't learned it, then we can introduce it and kind of figure out, you know, where we need to be focusing in the fall when third grade rolls around. Um, I also got her the Hot Dots Let's Master Second Grade Reading and Math. Like I said, I don't want to be doing new concepts. I just want to be reviewing old ones. And I thought this would be a fun hands-on way to do that. Now, I don't want table time to be more than about 30 minutes. So we will be doing traveling the parks every day. And then we will probably only do one other thing. So either Math Facts That Stick or the app. Um, or the games, or hot dots. I mean, she can do anything she wants to do, but I'm not going to ask her to do anything more than that. My main goal is for us to have fun and enjoy the summer and just not have that summer slide happen. So that's my goal. The last thing that we are gonna be doing is I made her this summer reading challenge bingo board. This too will be a free download. You will actually get both the summer idea list and the summer reading challenge in the download together and um, this is editable so you can either use the one that i've included which has different book or different reading genres on it or you can do something different like read in your room read in a tree read you could do anything you want on here what i have her doing is reading by genre so i kind of want her to expand her reading horizons a little kind of see what else is out there 
So she can check each one of these off and we have um, nonfiction, graphic novel, tall tale, fantasy, mystery, poetry, adventure, fiction, myth, biography, legend, fairy tale, science fiction, drama, fable. So that way she is reading a lot of different types of things. Um, and every time she gets a bingo, um, she gets to pick a small prize. I have, they're mostly small Lego sets. I have a few small Lego sets put up in my closet that I've bought on clearance and have been putting up for a while. So she gets to pick one of those out of the closet. Um, and so that is our summer plans. I know that's, like I said, it's going to be a weird summer. Things are probably going to change. We're probably going to fall off the wagon. We might get back on the wagon. Who knows what the summer is really going to hold, but that is what my plan is to keep it where we can have time to have fun. We're not regressing in our academics and, um, you know, just try to get through it really. Mm -hmm.